everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by well i'm your girl bella and i would totally love if you join me on my youtube adventures click on the little subscribe button hit the little bell and let's be friends hello hello my sweet friends how's it going everybody happy friday okay i have a very very exciting video for you all it's a little fashion, high-end fashion. Um, and I really, really want to share this recipe that I've come up with by myself, but it's semi-homemade, okay? So just so you know, it's not really homemade, it's semi-homemade. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But before we get into the recipe, I want you to really look at the, the clothes I found at Walmart. Yo, I I have um, something like that, two of them. I have uh, like a Burberry inspired one with my monogram on it and it's kind of like a, like a turtleneck. And then I have another one that's similar, that has like a, like a, like a closure. But I purchased mine years ago. Um, and I had to pay a lot of money. And these are a fraction, fraction of the cost. And I mean, this is something that you would find only like in high-end boutiques before. So, you know, I was like, wow. Okay, we're gonna go run through those clips and then we're gonna get start cooking because I'm so excited. Why am I excited to share this recipe? Well, A, number one, I'm telling you, it tastes amazing, amazing. This is, this is some, okay, so it's, okay, peeps, let me explain this. So, you know, I wasn't feeling well a couple weeks ago and I was like, I love soup and you need to eat soup when you're not feeling well. So I was in Walmart grocery shopping and I came across this. This is my semi-homemade recipe, okay? So... I looked at it. Okay, first of all, it's from the Bear Creek Company, Country Kitchens. It says, darn good chili, chili mix. Delicious classic chili made with three types of beans and a blend of spices. Warm up a, a crock full tonight. Okay. And it says it takes 25 minutes to make. And you just add water and one can of tomato paste. But I'm like, this is not gonna make chili. How's this gonna make chili? Mm, I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, this is not. Now, <laughs> I just realized that there is a recipe down here for something else. Another twist on classic smoky beef chili. I wonder what that is. Okay, anyways, we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna worry about my recipe that I came up with, okay? So, I saw this and I thought, well, chili to me is like ground meat and it's really thick and it, you know, it's like really, really thick and real comforting. This, I was like, this is not going to be that. But I thought it's more soupish, like soup slash chili. So I thought, why don't I make a soup slash chili? All right. Now I'm going to show you all the ingredients you need. Get yourself a pen and paper, go pause the video, go make yourself a coffee, get a pen and paper or your little, like I have a little book that I write all the recipes in. And um, by the way, this was three, three, $3 and change at Walmart. And y'all, I, this is going to be my second time making this. And I cannot wait to have it again because it was so good. Like that's how good it was. All right, let me show you everything you need and let's get cooking. Okay, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need this mix, some salt, onion powder, garlic powder, um, black pepper, that's all to taste. I'm gonna split these now in half. I'm gonna do half chuck and half Italian sausage, a can of dark red kidney beans, a small can of um, tomato paste, some datalini pasta, and a little bit of bean broth, beef broth. And your favorite pot. And this is my new favorite pot, y'all. 
It's a new crock pot I got from uh, Aldi. I absolutely love it. Okay, you're gonna put your crock on your stove top and you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, extra virgin, good quality olive oil because um, you know, we try to do everything around here as best as possible to make it natural and good, you know, clean food. Okay, so I put my half a pound of the sausage, the Italian sausage, and half a pound of the chuck. So that's a whole, one pound of meat. Now you, you could use any meat you want. You could use chicken or whatever you want. Uh, turkey, but I'm gonna brown this and I'm gonna put my my seasoning. So my salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay, so your meat's all brown, you put your spices in, and now to layer this. Okay, now I'm gonna add, before I do anything, I'm gonna add the uh, one can of the tomato paste in here. And then I'm gonna add the seven cups of water and the packet. Okay, so you got, you put your, your tomato paste, you did your meat. Now I put this in, now you gotta let, and I put seven cups of water, just like the um, pack says. And I, I incorporated the tomato paste with my meat so it would like give it like a richer flavor because if you ever make Sunday sauce, uh, Italian pasta sauce, you 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 kind of fry the the uh, tomato paste and it it just makes it so much better. Okay, now you're gonna wash and strain that one can of kidney beans and put it in here. Okay, so that's it. You're gonna let this come to a boil. Once this comes to a boil, uh, so let's say, I don't know, maybe when it starts boiling, then I'm gonna add a cup, maybe a cup and a half, maybe, well, okay, maybe a cup, a cup of beef broth and a cup of the pasta, and that's it, y'all. Wait till you see how I serve this. Okay, my friends, I am so excited to show you these. So these are like ponchos or like, uh, I don't know what you would call these. I, I, I would call them like ponchos or something like that. But they are so luxurious. These ones here um, have a zipper and a little like full puffer jacket collar, short sleeves, so cute matching scarves, well, coordinating, not matching, coordinating scarves. Look at all these here. Look at all these. These are so good to layer, like, once we get really into the winter, if you're up north, um, over your nice coats. Oh, my God. It makes your coat look so good. And if you add, like, a leather belt, oh, amazing. Like, total fashion forward. And look at all the colors they come in. Look at this beautiful burgundy and black like hound's tooth. And the fabric, it was just so soft and so luxurious. I had to make this pit stop and really share this with you guys. Because this is like a, an area in Walmart that I don't even go to that often. Look at this one. Look, look at that, like the detail. It's so pretty, but wait, my favorite one's coming. My favorite one's coming, and there's a sneak peek of it. The hats, the cowboy hats, oh, amazing. Now, they don't fit my head for some reason. I don't know, they're a little too big. I tried on a couple because I really wanted them, especially this cream one with that, um, like, full chain. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. All right, let's go this way. Now, uh, keep in mind, my filming skills are not the best. I am so obsessed with this. I think I'm going to go get it. I, I really do. The clasp is gorgeous. The colors are gorgeous. It is $24.99. Yeah, $24.99. Well worth the price. This is another one. 
Now, this one doesn't have the clasp, but it has a full leather, like, detail. Oh, it's so perfect. And it also comes in gray. But I love this. And it's reversible tan, light tan and dark tan. Gorgeous. The hem is just gorgeous. But that one with the green and those colors are my favorite. And it also comes in, like, a gray with a black uh, toggle, silver and black toggle. But... I don't know. This one is just my favorite. And I can't believe it because, like, we shouldn't sleep on Walmart. Their fashions are amazing. Look at this hat with the gold chain detail. I mean, you would think you'd find that in a boutique. But look what we're finding at Walmart, y'all. Walmart's, okay, this one. That black hat and this with an all-black outfit and really great black cowboy boots at a football game. Oh, my God. You are the chicest. Or a night on the town or even out to dinner. I mean, do you know how chic you will look with the right jewelry? The min Oh, you'd look so good. This one is gorgeous. Look at this. Like, you know, wear this out on a Saturday do running your errands, throw on a cute little pair of jeans and this with a little shirt underneath, you are so fashionable, so fashionable. And speaking of fashion, uh, their purses at Walmart, wow. I Like, I'm so impressed, y'all. I'm really impressed. I should be a spokesperson for Walmart. That's how impressed I am, but I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is not sponsored, none of that. It's just me wanting to share with you guys the things I found. And you can tell I'm really obsessed with this. I really think I'm going to go back and buy it. And I'm going to try to get that hat because I love it. And look, okay, this blew me away. This blew me away. I, I, I never paid attention, I guess, before. Some of the gloves truly uh, are so co uh, coordinating with the ponchos that we saw. Look at these with the chain detail, Sherpa with chain detail and suede backs. Uh, um, thank you. Like... Talk about high, high end. Talk about fashion forward. Very trendy. Uh, attention to detail. There was ones that look like Chanel. Hold on, I'm going to find them right now and I'll show you. These like quilted. Yeah, there they are. Quilted. Uh, Chanel dupes. Come on. I'm telling you. Get a little tiny Chanel pin or, or find something Chanel and put it right at the bottom of this glove. No one will know that you're not wearing Chanel. Okay, these are very good gifts. The Steve Madden hat sets, hats, uh, hat, scarf, and mittens. These are great gifts. And the purses. Y'all, I'm telling you, don't sleep on Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart. I am so floored. By the way, do you want to see a Walmart fashion haul? Like, I bought a couple things. <laughs> Guys, now that it's boiled and it's pretty much the, the it's pretty much cooked, and you can see how nice and thick it looks. Like it's really quite thick. I'm um I'm gonna add one cup of the Detellini pasta, this little tiny pasta, and I'm gonna add one cup of beef broth, and then I'm gonna let the the pasta cook. And um, then I'm going to show you how to serve it. And I'll show you what else I made with this. Um, really good crusty bread, like a Texas toast, garlic bread would be really good with this. But I'm making biscuits, so you'll see that in a minute. And, and yes, I made them from scratch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so let's plate. Look, I'm going to get this little cook up, and then I'll show you how to plate it. And, uh, yeah. All right, y'all, all done. All done. My biscuits are done, and my soup slash semi-homemade chili is done. Lots of sharp cheddar and a little bit of sour cream, and uh, there you go. Dinner is served. Okay, my beautiful friends, thank you for cooking with me today. I really, really appreciate it. You know, from this little packet... Um, just scrolling through the, the aisles at Walmart, I came up with this recipe and I'm telling you all, it tastes so good. Try it. 
try it. If you try it, you need to tell me in the comments down below or write me on Instagram. And by the way, you can find me right here on Instagram. And uh, most of the time I answer Instagram. I'm not that great with it sometimes, but most of the time. So I think this meal turned out great. I think the way I plated it and with the sour cream and the extra cheddar made it all so gooey and delicious. And I love using my crock pot. I love that crock pot. I have uh, one beautiful one in storage uh, back in Florida, but this one is my new favorite because I absolutely love that color. So if you're like near an Aldi or something, run, get yourself one because the price is <laughs> phenomenal. Um, I'm really happy that you joined me today. I want to wish you all a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Do something you love. Y'all, this would be a great recipe for Thanksgiving. Imagine everybody comes over. You got the place set. You got beautiful bowls. You know, you... I would, this is what I would do. I would put like, I would pipe um, the sour cream in a piping bag and put it in the bowls and have the bowls um, set up and then have the cheese, like have the cheese uh, in a like a tray, like really nice, like make it fancy, you know, and then ladle in this over that, like a dot, like a, like a swirl of sour cream. <gasps> Your guests are going to think you're just like the bomb.com, but it's a, uh, it's a packet. <laughs> it's semi homemade. Okay. It's semi homemade. Anyways, enjoy your weekend and, uh, happy shopping. And I will see you on Monday. What are we going to do on Monday? We're going to do something good. All right. Bye y'all. Bye YouTube. Bye everybody.